Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to the series of lectures on databases. So in this uh, video we will discussing database languages. So as we know a database uh, management system is a software that manages data. So we must have a language to talk with the database. And this language should allow a user to create database and relation structures. The language should also provide for the basic data management tasks such as adding the data to the database, modifying the existing data and also removing the existing data. So in all, it should be able to insert the data, modify the data and delete the data. And the language should also be able to provide the mechanisms for both simple and complex queries. So a structured query language is the most widely and commonly used language for the databases. So officially it is pronounced as SQL or sometimes people also uh, refer to it as SQL because SQL was the preceding language that existed before the SQL. So uh, actually SQL has become the formal and de facto standard for the database, uh, relational database languages. Actually SQL is a non-procedural language. What it means by the non-procedural language? It means that in SQL or non-procedural language, you spe specify what information you need and you do not specify how that information is retrieved or collected so so you just say database what information you need and the database just fetches that information and provides you with that information also english uh, sorry uh, sql is more like an english language so it means you can read the sql as an english language or it at least reads something like English language. ISO standard defines some features which database vendors should provide for the SQL. So there is an SQL standard for uh, by the ISO and it defines some features. So every database vendor should provide those features. And notably vendors can also provide and in fact they do provide some extra features and these extra features we call it extensions to the sql and uh, also every implementation of sql is uh, called a dialect and note that uh, some uh, implementations of sql may differ from the iso standard and they do differ actually between the databases an sql statement consists of two things reserved words and user defined words so uh, when you write an sql statement there are two things the reserved words actually are the fixed part of the sql and they are fixed in the language and uh, their meaning is also fixed and you can call them as keywords also, user-defined words are the uh, words that are provided by the user of the database and usually uh, we can refer to them as identifiers and these are the uh, words which represent the names of various database objects such as tables and columns. After all, uh, in the end, SQL is actually case insensitive language. What it means by case insensitive? that capital and small letters words actually the words that are represented in capital or small letters mean the same thing so there is no distinction between small and capital letters so there are of course exceptions for example literals so something written as uh, literals say in quotation marks so uh, there the case actually matters so uh, SQL has uh, two actually uh, types of uh, statements or uh, language sub-languages you can say. One is a data definition language 
and this data definition language is something which allows uh, database users and DB DBA database administrators to actually describe and name the entities attributes and relationships required for the application so it is actually used to create the structures database structures and also uh, ddl can provide the associated mechanisms for specifying integrity and security constraints so a uh, data definition language is something which is used to create database structures and relations and also the constraints the other sub language of the sql is a uh, data manipulation language we call it dml and this is actually the part of the language that is used to provide the set of operations that support basic data manipulation operations and which are these data manipulation operations these are the same like insert new database records into the database which is actually done by the insert into table name query or statement sql statement so it provides the mechanism to add new data into the database also uh, the modification of the data is possible so uh, you can actually modify the existing data in the database and this is performed by the update table name query or sql statement we will discuss it later and you can also actually retrieve or uh, say access the data that is contained in the database and this is done by the select from table name structure or the statement of sql statement and finally uh, the dml provides deletion of the data or removal of the data from the database and the data can be removed from the database with delete from table name command note that the basic structure to hold the data is actually a table in the database so we will be continuing uh, this uh, series of lectures thank you for watching please keep watching